Hey you guys, so I am doing a get ready with me video today and this one is going to be the glitter edition. It's an old tutorial I did. So first things first, I'm using a Urban Decay uh, pencil liner in gold. I forgot what it's called. It's just a gold one. And I'm applying it all over my brows as my eyebrow color. And then I'm using my Sephora Collection Glitter Eyeliner in gold as well. And I'm applying it right over that liner onto my eyebrows. So now taking my Urban Decay Primer Potion, I'm applying it as my eyeshadow primer. It's going to go all over my lid and my lower lash line because we're going to apply eyeshadows there as well. So make sure you apply something for the eyeshadows to stick on to. Now I'm just taking a nice charcoal grayish color, applying it to my corners first, just so I can map out where I'm going to apply the rest of the shadow. Make sure you have your eyes open, looking straight at the mirror, so you can see exactly where it will go when your eyes are open. And also running it down on my lower lash line as well. I'm only taking it about three-fourths way in. I'm not bringing it in all the way because we're going to put something else in the inner chair duct. You will see it later. Now I'm just doing little circular motions just to buff out that color to have a smooth gradient finish. I want it to be really effortlessly blended. So make sure you blend, blend, blend. Sorry. Cause I know there's nothing wrong. Don't be afraid, there's no need to worry. Once you have enough blending, I'm gonna spritz a little bit of a moisture water. I just use MAC Fix Plus. Now I'm taking my glitter pigment. This is just a nice reflect of a grayish uh, mauve gold color glitter. I believe this one's Taurus by Lime Crime. And make sure you spritz it prior applying to your eye because you need some kind of moisture for it to stick. And I personally like to use a tissue under my eye just to catch the fallout. Notice how I'm pressing the color in onto my lid and not sweeping it because it gets really messy. So please do be careful. And this is where we apply the rest of that color on our inner tear duct. to go back and touch up any of the grayish charcoal color eyeshadow that we did prior because it might have took away the effect of the crease and it doesn't hurt to apply a little bit more just to balance out the glitter now I'm taking my Urban Decay I believe this is the Naked Skin BB Cream it's the one shade fits all I'm just going to apply it all over my face before I apply a foundation. If you guys want to see a foundation tutorial, I believe I have a video up already. I will be in the works of doing a new one. But do comment below if you want a new updated foundation routine. Because I'm going to skip through that on this video. Don't be afraid, there's no need to worry. lashes and I'll be right back. My blush. This is in uh, more of a corally peachy color. I believe it's the MAC Melba color, my favorite. And I'm just dotting it by packing on the color. And then once again little circular motions to blend out any harsh lines. If I keep looking down, I'm sorry. I was watching um, It's Judy Life. I watch her every morning religiously while I get ready for work. Once you 
have your blush, you can apply contour. I personally like to do a bronzer. It doesn't matter what specific order you apply. And um, this bronzer is, I believe, the Clinique bronzer. And I'm applying it all over my contour and then some of my temple against my hairline just to give myself a bronze all over since I am kind of pale just to even out the eyes balance it out I believe the lashes I'm wearing are from model 21 lashes if you guys never been to that website please do go on to their website they have amazing lashes model21lashes.com I will link them in my bottom bar they look really natural they use mink lashes and the band is super thin so it's actually really great on your lash line so it looks legit it looks like it's just I'm wearing mascara really so applying my highlights I am wearing Too Faced the glow or I forgot what it's called I will put it below as well sorry about that and I'm just applying it above the blush um, near under my eye there's a great part where you can blend out any blush that you might have packed on too much so there's no harsh lines it's a great way to make you look more awake Down the bridge of my nose, so let me Cupid's bow, and yeah, my chin. This part is optional, but I'm just gonna contour my nose a little bit because I feel like I'm really tan all around besides my nose. So, just giving the illusion of a taller bridge on my nose, I'm gonna contour the sides with a nice, nice fluffy eyeshadow brush. Now, I'm just gonna pop on some gems because to balance out this nice, glittery, shiny look. Yeah, one or two or... Hey, what the heck. Might as well even put three of them. I just kept my lips simple. Um, I ended up putting on chopstick after this video, but you guys could definitely put on a lip if you want to, if you want to go dramatic. Make sure you blend those lashes too with your um, real lashes. Applying some nude eyeliner in my waterline just to make my eyes look a little bit bigger. You don't have to do this, but I personally like to do it. It also is a good pro tip to do that if you just woke up and your eyes are bloodshot red and tired. It will cover up any redness. And voila! That is it. I hope you guys enjoy. I will see you guys later. And thank you for watching. Bye!